Hunters Creek who have uh, helped us greatly set this up and, and we really appreciate them and uh, for their kindness uh, in allowing us to use their facility which turns out to be a very nice facility and we really really appreciate it. Uh, I'd like to also say that um, I appreciate y'all coming uh, come out uh, this morning and, and meeting it's great these uh, these uh, 
meetings are, are very good for me. Uh, they help me uh, kind of understand what's going on, and it's great to be here. Thanks for participating in the process. I have a little thing uh, that I usually read uh, at each of these meetings. Uh, uh, I, I've, I've had the privilege of doing these kind of meetings uh, when I served in the legislature for 30 years, uh, and uh, so it's been 32 years I've had the privilege of doing town hall meetings, sometimes all over the state uh, and, and, and mainly in Central Florida. Uh, but I've benefited from the, from the conversation, constructive, productive, and uh, it's good to have civil gatherings to get together and just talk about what's going on in government. Um, so I benefit and, and I think the exchange of ideas are good uh, for everyone that comes. It doesn't mean we always agree on everything. We, know, we don't. And, uh, there's nothing wrong with, uh, with an opinion and, the, and the ex expressing that opinion in the spirit of respect to other people is a good thing. When people come, they have certain uh, expectations. They want to hear their elected representative, they want to express their opinions, to be, uh, they want to be heard by others, and they want to feel safe. These expectations are reasonable, and according to that, that's how we're going to run the town hall. Uh, I'm a good listener. Nobody has to yell. I can hear pretty well. If you want to yell, you can, but you have to go outside to do that. You can't do it in here. Uh, because we're here to exchange ideas, not stage some sort of political event. And um, in that, I, I'm going to say just a, you know, have a little short presentation, and then we'll, we'll have uh, questions. So does everybody agree that, that that can be the way we'll run this meeting? Everybody okay with that? Raise your hand if you are. Great. Thank you. Good nods. <laughs> All right. Well, I really appreciate you coming, and I came uh, today to talk about um, our economy, jobs, uh, uh, other things that are going on in the government, but uh, there's something that's sort of overriding all that happens, and that is the fact that we spend too much money. Um, and here we have a debt clock. That's 15 trillion. 629 billion, 188 million, and the other is rolling pretty fast, so we can't keep up with it. Uh, so you can see we don't really have a need for more money. We need to stop spending uh, because we're spending too much. And it's hurting us. It's hurting our economy. It's hurting the, uh, the way we do business, and it's hurting our future. Uh, someone, somehow, your, your, your amount and every amount for every single person alive today is about $49,000 of that, of that debt. So if you have a family of four, it's, it's almost $200,000 that would be owed. And so you can see it's, a, it's an awful lot of money. And we're not paying hardly any interest on that money. It's about $265 billion. If that percentage were to go up just a teeny bit, uh, it would it would crush us. So we're playing with fire, and more than fire, we're playing with uh, something that could could bring an end to this country if we're not careful. And if we continue on in the path we've been going, it will bring us to the same position that Greece is right now. And we're not that far away. Show that next slide. So, you don't have to see everything on here. Uh, just know the further up the line this goes, the worse it is. And so, this is the crushing debt burden that we're talking about. Um, last year when I did these town hall meetings, we were right here. And now we're right here. And you can see, as we move out this line, this exponential increase is, uh, is really <coughs> phenomenal. This is the CBO computer models show economic shutdown like right here at this point. That's pretty much right about where Greece is right now. It will show some pictures of where Greece is as a percent. What it is is this, this is the amount of debt as a percentage of the economy. And so you can see along here from 1940 up to 2010, uh, this is... This is 0%, uh, this is 100%, 200, 300, 400, 500% of the economy. Greece right now is at 
which is just about where this number is right here. Uh, we will reach there, if we stay on the same course, we will reach